All right, so what's going on, people? Once again, I'm back with another one of those shoes that I bought a long, long time ago and just haven't really done anything with, right? I'm dwindling away on that little stack. I think it's down to maybe five or six, something like that. It's not too many, but here we go. Another installment of that. So very brief backstory on these, right? It's very brief because I don't have a lot to say. These came out in 2016, right? Which was, what, four years ago almost. And at the time, you know, I was living in New Mexico, so wearing wool shoes was kind of like not really going to happen because it's generally warm there. And even in the winter, it's not super cold. But I kind of missed my window to wear them, which is a small window. And so I thought, oh, next year, next year, it'll happen next year. And it just kept not happening, basically, because, again, that style of shoe, like, I'm not going to just wear these out and like be hot, at least from the ankle down, right? You gotta think a little smarter than that. But unfortunately, that means that it's just gonna take me forever to get around to wearing them. I I considered, well, I didn't really consider, but I thought about them today because the weather outside is a little bit on the rainy and stormy side, you know, a little cooler than usual right now, at least by Virginia standards. So I was like, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and do the review of those things because that, that's something that makes sense, right? So here we are, got this right here for you, a little Jordan box. Well, actually it's not a little box because these 12 boxes are like a monstrosity when it comes to size. Anyways, so there's that for you, a little bit of the side action. If you can see that, great. If you can't see that, that's fine. So moving right along, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and talk about these. I'm not going to drag this one out too long, I don't think, but you never know. Sometimes I get off on some tangents. So let's go ahead and get both pairs out of here. Let's go with the factory lacing, of course, because these were never even tried on. Yeah, like nothing has happened with these. I'm not even sure how much I even really looked at them, but I'm looking at them now, though, to make sure everything looks like it's supposed to, even though there's nothing I could do if it doesn't. Yeah, these are actually pretty decent, pretty decent. So let's go ahead and set this this box up here, set this guy over here, right there, get you a close-up. Well, actually, that's not a good look because it's all dark in the camera, and I'm going to stand right here in front of it anyway. So, here's the shoe. Let's go ahead and do this review real quick, real quick. So, down there, you got the standard bottom on pretty much all Jordan 12s, right? This one's got a bit of a charcoal gray sort of thing going on with the that pyramid-style design in the middle, black and black, of course. Moving up here, you got the same, you got the black, the black style, black mud guard. feels like leather. Same with the other side as well. And then this area is also blacked out. I kind of like the little contrast of colors there. It gives it a little bit of personality, just a little bit of flair. And then, you know, let's switch it on. Let's go to the back this time. So there's that, right? Jordan. There we go. Jordan, the whole thing about being inspired by the greatest player ever and all that good stuff with the two, three down at the bottom. All very standard things. One of the things that is a little bit different, though, is if you look at this again, you can tell that this is kind of like a, I don't know if it's leather. No, I don't think so. I think it's just like a nice pl plasticky sort of feel, but it's got this whole thing just embossed into there, which is a pretty nice touch in my opinion. Nice little switch up from how things often are. And now that we've talked about the obvious things that you see on all of these uh, Jordan 12s, let's go ahead and talk about the upper, shall we? Get you a kind of close look. So here's the thing, right? You've got this wool sort of thing going on. Hopefully that's, I'm not zooming in, hopefully that's kind of focused in on there and giving you some kind of good look at it. That's looking pretty decent in my eyes, so yeah, good. So across the tongue, you know, you've got the jump man and then the two, three, but the whole rest of this upper is that wool, right? Which is, it feels weird, honestly, given that when you normally touch something of that nature, it's soft, right? And the outside, you can feel it's kind of soft, but because it's laid up against something that's a little more rigid, it kind of has a weird feel to it. Again, it's like if you took like a, somewhat thin towel and you place it on a floor it's like okay it's kind of soft but it's mostly firm so there's that 
but overall I think it's pretty cool and then you look on the inside you've got this nice plush sock liner going on same with the tongue so again if you can see that yeah these things are gonna be super warm if you're actually wearing them and some standard laces that I kind of skipped over but overall this was one of those shoes where obviously I was buying all the 12s in 2016 that I could get my hands on but this one I was kind of interested in it because it was just a different take on things you know I mean at the time I probably only had like maybe four 12s whatever had come out that year is all I had so we were talking the masters the french blues the alternate gym reds the flu games maybe the wolf grade fives I think those were all that had I mean wolf grade 12s I'm thinking that's all that had come out that year before these but either way either way I didn't have a whole lot so seeing these, I was like, oh, hey, something different, something cool. Let's let's go ahead and see what that's all about. Though I will say, current day Tristan kind of doesn't like past Tristan on account of that whole pay in retail plus taxes and or shipping for everything. But you live and learn. You live and learn. Right? I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't know a whole lot about how the world worked back then, but I'm a lot better at it now, that's for sure. So anyways, give you a nice other uh, little close-up look here. Again, I think this is a really, really good looking shoe now that I actually take it out of the box and get a good look at it. So I would like to break these out soon, but again, spring is almost here. And so that means I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to do that. But if it gets cool again, it's an option. It's an option. So past that, I don't think I have anything else to say. I was considering doing like a 12 collection video because I see people doing collection videos sometimes. And I don't know, like, do you guys want to see that? If you do, say something. If you don't, don't say something. That seems easy enough. So anyways, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching this little quick review, if you want to even call it that. Oh, sizing. Go down half. So yeah, thanks for watching this quick little review and all that. I do appreciate it as much as I appreciate you guys even watching only the, a minute, the whole thing. Whether you watch every six videos I put up, hey, if you're coming over here and showing any sort of support whatsoever, I appreciate every ounce of it. I can't stress that enough. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to, but I know that I'm not going to be able to do it. Anyways, that's it for me. Have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And go, you know what, go watch some of these other videos. I'll put those over here. Some, some other people that I follow, I'll just see whoever put up something recently on my subscriptions thing and those will be the videos that are over there so we're, we're gonna find out together what those are all right later people